Welcome to STEM Professionals. In this video, we will discuss the problems and conceptual exercises of Chapter 2 from the book James S. Walker. So let's start with the video. So here you can see that a cliff diver drops from rest to the water below and when you tell that how much time does it take for the diver to go from 0 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. So here at x0 equals to 0, the velocity v is 0, 0 miles per hour because it starts from rest. Now suppose at this position, the velocity becomes 60 miles per hour. Now we have to tell how much time does it take to achieve this much of speed. So uh, we have to give the answer in uh, seconds. So for that, uh, we can do one thing. We can first convert this velocity in meter per second. So we have 60 miles per hour. Now we know that in one meter per second, we have 2.24 miles per hour. So this would be equals to 26.8 meter per second. So this is the final velocity. Now to solve this problem, we can use this equation that is V is equals to V naught plus 80. Now in this case, acceleration is G, A is equals to G. We have taken this as a positive X direction and G is also in this direction. So we can take this to be equals to V naught plus GT. Now from here we can write that T will be equals to because this initial velocity is 0, we can equate it to 0. So T would be equals to V over G. Now we can uh, put the values. So this would be equals to V, we have 26.8 meter per second and the value of G is 9.81 meter per second squared. So from here we'll get the answer to be 2.7 seconds. And this is significantly less than uh, if you compare by this value. This is for a powerful car. It takes about 3.5 to 4 seconds to achieve uh, 60 miles per hour from 0 miles per hour. And here you can see that the answer comes out to be as for this diver. The time taken is 2.7 seconds, which is significantly less than the other value. So during the Olympic Games 2014, a snowboarder rose 6.4 meter vertically above the rim of the half pipe. So here let it be this is its initial position x0 equals to 0 and here the final position becomes 6.4 meter. So this is 6.4 meter. Now we need to find the speed did he launch from the rim. Basically the v0. This thing we have to find. And since uh, at the topmost position the final velocity becomes 0 so v would be equals to zero now uh, we know what we need we need to calculate for that uh, we can uh, we can use this equation which is v square minus v naught square is equals to 2a delta x now uh, we have taken this direction as our positive x axis a positive uh, direction so uh, acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction so a would be negative g in this case so we can put it here and v is 0 so this value would be 0 so we'll get this is negative v naught square is equals to 2 times negative a negative g sorry and delta x so this negative and this negative would become positive so uh, v naught this would be equals to under root 2 g times delta x now we can uh, put the values to get the result. So under root 2 g is 9.81 meter per second squared. Now delta x would be uh, x of minus x i which is 6.4 meter. So this is 6.4 meter. Now we can solve this by using our calculator and we'll get this answer to be 11 meter per second. So this would be the initial velocity. So a volcano launches a lava bomb straight upward 
with the initial velocity 28 meter per second now we have to take the upward direction to be positive so this direction we have taken to be positive and then we have to find the speed and the direction of motion of the lava bomb 2 and 3 seconds after it was launched so v naught let me write here this is 28 meter per second now since we have taken the upward direction to be positive so in this particular case a would be equals to minus g because the direction of acceleration due to gravity is always downwards so that is why a equals to minus g now to find the velocity after 2 and 3 seconds uh, we can use this equation which is v is equals to v naught plus a t now since a is minus g so this would be equals to v naught minus g t so this would be the expression for the velocity now initial velocity uh, for the first case i'm solving the a part first is uh, 28 meter per second minus g is 9.81 meter per second squared now time for the a part we have to take it to be two seconds so this would be two seconds this is second here now we can solve this by using our calculator and we'll get this value to be 8.4 meter per second so this is the velocity of uh, the lava bomb at time t equals to two seconds now in the similar fashion we can solve the b part in this case we have to take time to be three seconds same equation we can use so v is equals to v naught is 28 meter per second minus g is 9.81 meter per second squared and time we have to take it to be three seconds so this value comes out to be as negative 1.4 meter per second now from this sign they hit the sign is positive from this sign we can say that the uh, the direction of the velocity in this at this time t equals to two seconds would be in the upward direction and since here the velocity comes out to be as negative so the direction of uh, the lava bomb at time t equals to three seconds would be in the downward direction so here we are doing a nice and an easy experiment to measure your reaction time so let's understand the experiment first so here's your, here's your friend holding a ruler by one end and letting the other end of uh, the ruler hang vertically downwards now at the lower end of the ruler you hold your thumb and index finger on either side of the ruler ready to grip it now as soon as your friend releases the ruler without any warning you try to catch it as soon as possible now suppose you catch the ruler 5.2 centimeter from the lower end now from this experiment we uh, obtained that uh, you catch the ruler 5.2 centimeter from the lower end now here we know that the ruler falls straight downward under the influence of gravity and we can take uh, this direction to be our positive uh, x axis positive uh, x direction now uh, in this case a would be equals to plus g because the acceleration due to gravity is also in the downward direction and the initial velocity v naught is zero because initially the ruler was at uh, the velocity of the ruler was zero now time we need to calculate for that we can use uh, the the equation that we obtained earlier the position as a function of time equation of motion which is x is equals to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t square now uh, here x naught we have zero so this value would be zero and initial velocity is zero so this is also zero so uh, we'll get t would be equals to two times x divided by a and under root now we can easily calculate our reaction time from this equation so two times now x we have 5.2 centimeter now let me convert the unit into meter so multiply it with 10 to the power minus 2 meter divide by a is 9.81 meter per second squared and under root now we can solve this by using our calculator and we'll get time t equals to nearly 0 0.10 second which is your reaction time and this is a very good reaction time if you see on an average the uh, 
the average time for human beings is around 0.2 seconds and your is only the half of that uh, average value. <laughs>